mean, all those animals. You know what? I bet you just the tip of the iceberg and word gets around what's going on. The doctor, you, you must help us quick. What happened? What are you talking about? It is all my fault. I should not have let him out. Hey, hey, all right, now calm down. A circus tiger. He will jump. Hey, didn't I tell you you should stop drinking? Oh, drinking, I give it up. That's better. Come on, let's go. Wait for me. You don't know where it is. And now on the day I end it all, I'd like to leave Margaret the bearded lady, my rhinestone collar, and my wet dry shaver. I'd like to leave Jack the midget. Nothing. It's too late for you, Jack. You're a short Hey, get out of there! You're right in my landing space! Man! Leave your land in your feet, roadkill! <laughs> Don't you blood sucking vermin take a break, all right? Mmm, blood sucking! Look out below! You're lucky, come on. Come on, what? Come on, we gotta go up there! Are you crazy? That's a tiger! I'm jumping now! Will you come on? Don't try and stop me! Coming right up, one order of man, side of dog. Oh, I need a drink. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, no, I just remembered. I wanted to leave the whip to the baboon. <laughs> One of the few animals that enjoy that kind of thing. Hi. <gasps> hey, who are you? I'm Doolittle. Yeah, well, get out of here. I'm in a lot of pain, and I'm going to jump. Hey, whoa, 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 take it easy now. Listen, I'm a doctor. Maybe I can help you. I don't need a doctor. I need a miracle. I'm a train wreck. I have headaches, nausea. The worst thing is this double vision. Ah, oh, what's the use? It's not like anybody cares about tigers anyway, you know? Now stop, you're being silly. Listen, there have been lots and lots and lots of lovable tigers. Yeah? Name one. How about Tony? Tony the serial tiger? What? I didn't hear you come up with anything. Oh, remember that song, I Had the Tiger from Rocky III? It's the eye of the tiger. It's the, 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 the uh, that one from the Rocky Three, with with Rocky was fighting Mr. T, couldn't beat Mr. T. Then Apollo Creed played Eye of the Tiger for him. He went back and beat the snot out of Mr. T because of Eye of the Tiger, because of that song. It moved him inside. Not Eye of the Moose, not Eye of the Bull, Eye of the Tiger. That's it. I'm jumping. No, 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 don't jump. Jump, jump, you big pussy. Come on, you little scary I'll catch you. Not. <laughs> then I say, take a break. Ah! Then you jump. <laughs> Why do you want to help me? Because I'm the only one who can. I don't know, maybe it's my destiny. And maybe it's your destiny to be the one tiger that everybody remembers. Why else would I be here talking to you? Because the drunk monkey can't keep his mouth shut. Are you going to let me help you? What if you can't? If I can't help you, then you can eat me and Lucky. Yeah, or just him. Really? Will you take me back to the circus? I will take you back to the circus. All right. But don't think I wasn't going to jump, because I was. Ugh. Sure hope you're a better doctor than you are a singer. Good job, Doc. Although you got to admit, you know, seeing a tiger jump five stories would have been really, really cool. I heard that. Hey, Dr. D. Johnny D. Three o'clock, CalNet. Meeting to go over the agreement. You're going to be there? You're not going to believe what I got for us, buddy. Corporate cars every two years. What's going on? Why aren't you paying attention to me? Atlas of Feline Anatomy for Veterinarians, but, John, we treat humans at our practice. Hey, Mark, sit down a second. Just a minute. Okay. Do you remember when we first started out? We had those little crummy offices in the worst neighborhood in town, and we got paid almost no money. I've blocked it out. Have you really? I guess so, yeah. Those were the most exciting times to me, you know? It was like a, a, you couldn't wait to come to work because you felt like you were making a difference, you know? And last night I had to treat some some emergencies. And I was challenged, and it was difficult, and I kind of, I got the same kind of rush I had back then. I felt like I was doing something, you know? I felt like I was making a difference, and, and I started thinking that maybe here, I'm not giving my patients the right amount of attention. John, do me a favor. Don't ever confide in me, okay? I'm utterly useless in these areas. I'm a very self-absorbed man. You want to get Gene in here? Let's get Gino in here. Hey, Gino! Hey, Mark. You know Gene, what? get in here! You did your job just by pretending you were listening for 30 seconds. It was very helpful to me. Anytime. Okay. Calnet, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock sharp. Calnet. This is Dr. Fish. Hello, is this the author of Feline Illnesses and Diseases? Yes, it is. You've re you read my book? Have I read your book? I sleep with your book next to my bed. It's, it's, it's my Bible. Well, some people consider it the definitive work on cats, but uh, Bible. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, no, I can, 
I can see your point. I have a very, very sick, very, very big cat. And I'm concerned that it might be something really serious because his vision's impaired and he seems to be in a lot of pain. Well, unfortunately, if it is in the head, there's only two options. One is surgery and uh, the other is uh, putting it down. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to take care of you. I promise. Just hurry back. Every minute you're gone, I'm one minute closer to death. I just might hang myself by my underpants. I can get underpants. Not really. <laughs>